The Transformers Generation 1 series is filled with mistakes of all kinds, and here's 15 of the best ones I think you'll enjoy. One of the things you'd think the animators would be abundantly clear on is which side of the war each Transformer belongs to. But apparently someone on the animation team didn't do their homework, because in part 3 of the pilot episode More Than Meets the Eye, Soundwave was drawn with an Autobot logo on his chest instead of the Decepticon logo. And this wasn't the only time Soundwave switched sides either, because this mistake was made again in Season 3, in the episode Carnage in C Minor. But I'll give them partial credit for at least getting the color right. Another Decepticon who was confused about which side he was on can also be seen in the episode Carnage in C Minor, when Bone Crusher, who's one of the Constructicons, can be seen shooting at the very rocket he helped the Decepticons build, because maybe he found out the Autobots had a better retirement plan. But there's also something else that's wrong with this shot, which is that the Autobots Brawn and Huffer are apparently back from the dead after they were both killed in the Transformers movie. Brawn was the first one killed in the Autobot Massacre, and Huffer died off-screen at some point during the attack of Autobot City. So maybe someone in the production didn't see the movie, or they were upset about the movie's Autobot Massacre, and put these characters in as a protest. Instead of accidentally bringing an old character back from the dead, these next two mistakes are about two characters being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And the first is from the episode The Autobot Run, when Megatron wants to test a new weapon and uses Starscream as a guinea pig. But take notice of the Decepticons in this shot compared to this shot a few seconds later, and you'll see that Shockwave magically appeared, which is a big mistake. Because in the pilot episode, it's well established that Megatron had Shockwave stay on Cybertron to protect the transport portal from the Autobots. But the second mistake is even worse, which can be seen in Part 1 of The Five Faces of Darkness, where the Decepticons gather up Energon cubes to give them enough power to find and revive Galvatron. But the confusing thing is that as they're celebrating the eminent rescue of Galvatron, he can actually be spotted as one of the Decepticons cheering in the crowd so maybe he didn't get the memo that they were going to rescue him. The identity crisis mistakes don't stop there either, because there are several cases where Transformers are painted the wrong color. And an episode where this happens is in Transport to Oblivion, where two Starscreams are on screen, but one of them is supposed to be Skywarp, because we see him with his true colors in the next shot. However, the most unforgivable color swap is with Optimus Prime and SOS Dinobots, where Megatron has the Autobots bound with Energon chains, and as the camera pans over, an all-blue Optimus Prime is revealed. And who knows how they messed that one up. But it isn't just the Transformers that get painted wrong, because this also happens to the human characters as well. And for this mistake, we're going to look again at Transport to Oblivion, where at the beginning of the episode, Soundwave infiltrates a solar power plant, and if you pay attention to this worker, you'll see that his skin color goes from black to white, then back to black in a matter of seconds. But by far the worst set of mistakes come from the episode Child's Play, because there are so many mistakes in this shot that they're really hard to count, and quite honestly it probably has 15 mistakes all by itself. First, the Autobots aren't even in the shot, but then they pop in a few frames later. Then Optimus and Bumblebee's legs are layered wrong to be on the outside of the alien's hand. Then Optimus clips through the rocket, and then the alien's cat pops up on the top of the rocket before sliding up to the corner of the screen. Then Bumblebee juggles between being in front and in back of the rocket, and then for the rest of the shot, the cat is obviously layered wrong to be on top of the rocket. What a mess. If you'd like to see mistakes about the 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series, click the video on the screen to enjoy more great content right here on Fun Fact Films.